Humans are exposed to chemical mixtures throughout their lifetime. They come from many sources, such as foods, personal care products, drinking water, or electronic equipment, and may cause diseases such as infertility, neurotoxicity, or liver toxicity. As a case, we focus on fertility. Male reproductive disorders are on the rise, and in many locations, fertility is too low to sustain the population. In fact, 10% of all children in Denmark are now conceived by artificial means. This could partly be due to increasing parental age, lifestyle factors, and clinical conditions. But there's growing evidence that exposure to chemical mixtures could also be contributing to the problem. From conception, people are exposed to a range of chemicals, including environmental dioxins, phthalates, bisphenols, fluorinated chemicals, UV filters, parabens, and pesticides. Alone, in tiny doses, they usually don't have an effect, but the risk they pose when combined is frequently underestimated. Fortunately, it's possible to assess the risk posed by these mixtures. But first, researchers have to figure out if and how the chemicals interact with each other. This interaction could be synergistically, where chemicals amplify each other's effect, antagonistically, where they inhibit each other, or most commonly, additively, where instead of interacting, similar chemicals act like extra doses of each other. Their activity is determined via a dose response study. Here, researchers determine the level of exposure needed before a chemical poses a risk. Assuming these chemicals behave additively, their curves can be added to predict how they'll affect the body in a mixture. However, a team of researchers at the Technical University of Denmark proposes a new tool to deal with the challenge. They created a computational interface, Chemical Mixture Calculator, that, based on the hazard index method, assuming additivity, calculates the risk to chemical exposures. First, the researchers determine whether chemicals pose a risk based on a crude estimation, regardless of toxicity. If the result is less than one, the mixture is presumed safe. If not, more analysis is needed to determine potential hazards. Chemical mixtures with a risk of more than one have to be grouped based on which part of the body they affect. If the risk for the mixture is still less than one, the fetus is presumed safe. If not, there's a potential risk of toxicity. All exposure sources of the chemicals and all chemicals showing the same effect should be taken into account in the mixture risk assessment, as described in detail here. This research, based on collaborations between scientists and regulatory bodies, helped discover that exposure to just four phthalates put some male fetuses in the human population at risk. As a result, the EU restricted the use of four phthalates in December 2018. For the first time, a mixture risk assessment has led to the regulation of chemicals in the EU. But many more chemicals apart from the phthalates can affect male fetal development. What are the consequences of these exposures? In the future, the research team hopes their research will lead to better chemical regulation and improved human health and fertility.